Good morning everyone. Uh, this is an amazing uh, morning here in Pune and uh, I just came out here for a walk. Uh, in the beginning of 2020, I thought I would go out for walks every single day. But as you know, I procrastinated. I didn't do it every single day. And that begs the question, how should one stay consistent every single day? And in this video, I want to talk about how can you stay consistent as a developer. All right. I hope you'll enjoy this video. Uh, and if you watch it completely, I have a big giveaway for all of you. So make sure that you watch this video completely. There will be something really amazing at the very end. All right. With that said, let's get started with this video. Hey, welcome back everyone. I'm Ishan Sharma and this problem has been the biggest problem that everyone faces when they are learning to code and this could be whenever you're learning let's say C++ or JavaScript whenever you're building a project you're just not as motivated towards learning to code because again first of all the tutorials take uh, at least four or five hours to complete so that you can learn something and then and then create it yourself okay so it takes some time for you to learn that skill and you're just not able to give that time consistently okay and uh, of course it's not about just sitting at one place and listening to that tutorial for five straight hours it's more about giving one hour every single day and learning it in just a week okay so the problem is that you are not able to focus properly and you get deviated very easily one way to rectify that that i discovered in last year of college just by taking a look at what other people are doing is something called as the 100 days of code challenge it is a challenge that you take up to code at least one hour every single day uh, and th then you share your process you share your journey with the world you can do that on twitter you can do that on on instagram as well as on linkedin so what basically you would do is that you would go out every single day and you would take out your laptop and you'll start coding for you know x amount of hours preferably at least one hour and then you would share what all you have learned what all did you make what was something new that you discovered that day and you would share it with the world it gives you accountability it's like when you are done with coding on the first day you have this this desire in yourself to create that tweet the next day or write that post on LinkedIn or on Instagram. And because of that, on the next day also, you will be more likely to code. Okay. So this is a very important concept. I like it a lot. I have myself tried out the 100 days of code. It's definitely really good. A lot of people end up getting internships uh, or, or straight up jobs at uh, big companies at the end of 100 days. I think it's very important to understand many a times we underestimate what we can do in a in like four or five months and we overestimate what we can do in a day okay this is a very uh, very common saying that i really like all right uh, but yeah this is this is something really interesting use 100 days of code i'll tell you uh, what you can do so take a look at this screenshot that i have of me writing a tweet on one day on which i just made something up and i just wanted to share it with the world people actually respond to you okay and they're like oh that's really good how did you create this um, or you can also try out this thing okay so they give you feedback and then that can be used for you to become better all right this is a really great concept um, also if you go on linkedin you can create a post on linkedin include an image as well and share exactly what you are doing i myself have seen many people do this uh, harsh mishra who was on the podcast uh, just like one month ago he also does this every single day and he has been doing it for over 300 days i guess uh, so you know he really likes the 100 days of code challenge and i think this is an excellent way for you to be consistent at coding coding uh, a lot of people like to call it computer science and they say that this is a science uh, i like to think of it as an art it's a lot more of a creative process and i think that's also very important to understand because many people feel that they can just open up their laptop and they can just start coding aimlessly well that is not the case what happens here is that you have to get into the the flow state okay i recently got to talk to tech with tim who was on my podcast he is a big youtuber and he shares his computer science journey whatever he is learning he tries to make tutorials but more importantly he said that it requires him at least 30 to 45 minutes to get into the flow state okay so flow state is where everything becomes natural to you it feels like a play to you okay you don't even realize how much time has passed when you're coding on your laptop this is an amazing state for you to be in if you want to become great at coding so this is really important don't just make it like you always code in, in chunks of uh, 30 minutes or 20 minutes sit down uh, with your laptop and code for at least one hour okay straight one hour and see when is the point that you just 
forget everything else and you're just zoned into this okay so you have this zone that you go into in which it doesn't really matter what's happening in your surroundings and you're just busy solving that problem or, or creating that application you can take a look at the interview that, that i did with tech with tim and he shares his complete journey um so i'll leave it somewhere over here in the description go take a look at that but yeah uh learning to code is all about being consistent okay i have struggled with it a lot and then i discovered these two methods number one is the 100 days of code sharing it on twitter sharing it on on instagram as well as on linkedin and the second is to code for longer duration in just one sitting okay so yeah this is really important for all of you to understand now i will be leaving some links in the description that you can see those will be some examples for you to understand how to create these tweets and linkedin posts and instagram posts take a look at them there are multiple hashtags that you can use there is hashtag 100 days of code there is hashtag 300 days of code there is hashtag 100 days of ml code and there's 100 100 days of design as well but basically i'm just telling you if you want to learn to code without procrastination use this challenge and make yourself accountable towards you know coding for a straight 100 days okay so yeah, that's what I would say to all of you. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. In order to summarize the point, I think you just need accountability uh, for you to stay consistent in whatever you want to do. Now uh, let's talk about the giveaway. So uh, a lot of you want to learn data structures and algorithms and want to, uh, you know, uh, go towards interview preparation for, you know, big tech companies. And so a lot of you are confused. Where should you get started? Where should you learn data structures? Where should you learn algorithms? And so for you, I have teamed up with Geeks for Geeks to provide you the data structures and algorithms algorithms course for free yes you heard me right all you need to do is to fill the google form the link to that is in the description just fill it and i will just be selecting 10 random people and you will be getting your dsa course from geeks for geeks for completely free right so that's really amazing go fill the google form link to that in the, is in the description uh, and yeah i think the course in itself is really good everything has been explained very well uh, i myself have purchased that course so i can tell you from my own personal experience go take a look at the course it's very well laid out now if you were not a part of the giveaway you can still get the course if you use the code ishan15 uh, just go on the website i will link it in the description just use the code ishan15 and you will be getting a 15 percent discount on their dsa course okay i think this is a great initiative by geeks for geeks that they want to help you guys out so just just take a look at the course i think it's really amazing uh link to that is in the description but yeah thank you so much for watching this video completely uh make sure that you share this video with your friends like comment subscribe and i will see you all in the next video don't forget to uh you know fill the google form link to that is also in the description all right bye bye Bro, this looks very crazy. I don't know. <laughs> what am I doing here, man? Like, I should really not be doing this. <laughs>